What's up? You chilling with Blur? Welcome to the Blur Vinci Code. My life story called Life is a Blur. Blur Vinci Code because it all, all these memories, fragmented memories are a blur. You put them all together like a spider web, like a string. You can see how I've become what I am today and what I'm going to become tomorrow. A lot's going to be revealed in the next year or two. 2013-2014 transformation. Good morning. I didn't break the fast yet. Because I'm recovering from yesterday's mistakes. But they were in bed. I'm recovering nicely. I feel pretty good. I'm going to take you on a journey. Childhood memories. Fragmented memories. Subscribe to my channel. Check out the three stories before this. From age five to six. This is from six to ten. Where I lived. I'm going to take you to Wedge Lane. Let's drive into there. Wedge Lane goes like this. It's shaped like this. You drive in, right? It goes like this, dead end. Then you back up a little bit, three quarters. Then it goes in a perfect circle, right? And I was the, we were the center house of that perfect circle at the top. Weird coincidence. I thought of that because at the corner house, when I take you into the journey where you drive in, there's no outlet in the perfect circle, dead end there. It's like a P with the straight part. At the beginning, there were these two huge white rocks. And at the corner house, there was these two kids. I know the one kid's name was James Bella. I don't remember the brother's name. But they both ended up being gay. I'm just saying, as a kid, it's a weird coincidence. The corner house at the beginning, there's probably a puzzle and then, and then I'm at the we're at the middle house, me and my brother. Then you go three houses over on the decline on the circle. Then you have Andrea Fine. Everyone thought she was gay because she was a tomboy. But she wasn't. She was my best friend over there too. I'm just saying weird things. Then you got the the uh, Giordellis across from us, brother, sister. I don't remember what their stories were. Then you got the Normoils next door. The Nor Moils, far the furthest thing from normal. Nor Moil, weird ass ish. Then at the corner, boom, of the circle, whoosh, you got Mike, rich kid Mike, the wealthy one. What I'm saying is, who knows where they added up later? Who knew that I would be this? Freak, this freak of nature with a huge destiny. My brother, we're opposite brothers. He's the complete opposite. Blonde hair, blue eyes, short, stocky. I'm brown hair, brown eyes, tall. Genius. No, I'm just kidding. But... Okay, here's the stories, right? First, I gotta say the last story about New Lane, the school, New Lane Elementary. I forgot to say I was made fun of and called Peepee Head because my initials are P P. That's another thing. When people have initials of the same letter. M M you know P some people have M M. I'm just saying Marshall Mathers. Uh who who else has the same names with the initials? I remember I went over like a whole list of people. Okay. I remember deer meat. This is the only memory I have how is that? of my grandfather, my dad's dad. Deer meat. He brought home a freaking deer, cooked it, and we ate it. And I remember thinking, freaking delicious. That's what I remember about my dad's dad. Dad didn't cry, I don't think, I didn't see it, I don't remember. I remember walking into the funeral. But I remember, I didn't know that death was real until about age 17, when death happened to me. I didn't know it was real, I didn't know what a funeral was. What's going on, why are we saying goodbye? 
Why am I dressed in a suit? Why is everyone else dressed in a suit? Weird. I gotta be on my best behavior. I wanna laugh out loud because laughter was my first addiction. I couldn't stop, man. It was an escape for me. I remember in this big house, I remember when we would go upstairs, our parents would put us to bed and it would get dark. I would try to escape reality. The Blue Vinci Code, escaping reality as a child, I remember. Hiding under the blankets. Deer meat. Father, Grandpa, funeral. I remember singing the Beatles, me and my brother. They had us on the microphone. Music was a big part of my life. I remember we sang the Beatles, me and my brother, to the whole family. Remember that. We had this record player. I'm talking, we're like six, seven years old. Parents brought us, I remember, Twisted Sister. You're gonna burn in hell, no evil. Don't you see, no evil. Don't you hear, no evil down on me. You're gonna burn in hell. Why well, you let your kids listen to that age seven? What about New Kids on the Block record? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. What about this song? Just hanging tough. Oh, 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 oh. just hanging tough. We listened to Billy Idol. It was freaking huge for me when I was a kid. I'm talking. Come on, it's a nice day for white wedding. Wow, it's a. Nice day to start again. Come on. What about the uh, age seven listening to this uh Hex the other Billy Idol song? Come on, man. How can I forget? In the midnight hour, she cries ma ma ma. Wow, with a rebel yell. And MC Hammer was huge. Do legit to quit, hey, hey, hey. do legit, jit. do legit to quit, hey, hey, Also, Michael Jackson was huge, too. Remember the Michael Jackson movie? I gotta go watch that. That was, whoa, I'm gonna watch that today. It's important to go through memories of your life, to relive them, because they breach new connections in the brain they make you more intelligent going over your past reliving it it connects all the way back to that time and it enhances your brain I'm reliving this stuff let's go because i'm touching 10 minutes here i remember being pushed on my back on the grass on liquid dog shit well he pushed me on my back and I shit all over. I remember the feel of the shit through the shirt. What the heck, man? Cool. I remember, like age seven years old, in my room on the second floor, the next door neighbor, I remember. I was into girls. It was like this 20-something-year-old woman. We, me and my brother would stare out the window to get a glimpse of her and her bra at age seven. Don't be mad at me. Okay, the Normoils, our next door neighbors, they were far from normal, really. Uh, a lot of obesity over there. The father smoked cigars like crazy. He was, he was so big when the ambulance had to come get him. They had to pull him, they had to, break the windows because he was too big laying down to uh, get him through the door. They had to break out the windows and pull him through. Nuts. I remember in the back of the normal's house we were cutting worms in half. I remember that. Worms lived. Don't be mad at me for my sins of childhood, please. I'm a different person now. There was caterpillars everywhere when I was young. I don't know why, I never seen them when I grew up. Caterpillars everywhere. Big nests, white nests, caterpillars. Scary stuff. I remember I swung a rake. Like I swung a rake like, whew, whew, in, the, in the backyard of the normals. 
and the Normoyle's cousin, I won't remember his name, I nailed him in the head with the rake, and they took us to court. And we were in the room, me, my parents, my brother, and the kid and his parents, and they were suing us, and they said that the school, the kids were calling them Scarface, and it was this tiny scar. I started cracking up laughing in that court claim room. I'm not saying this, this stuff isn't funny at all. I'm not saying that it's a joke. I'm saying I'm a different person now, but at that time I started cracking up in the room. I was, I paid for my sins, but whew, remember the Giardellis, he threw a rock through my dad's car window. My dad had enough on his plate, man. And he went over there and caught, you know, said something to the parents. That was it, though. We couldn't do nothing. He threw a rock. I remember hearing it. Huge rock sitting in the, in the car seat. Filthy rich Mike. And my brother fell off his bike. Boom! Right onto his chin. I'm talking... The bike went forward, like he hit the forward brake or something. Went straight down, uh, like he was purposely hit his chin, like with his chin out, boom, and the chin was all the way to the bone. And this bully kid, a fifth grader, I was like first grade, my brother was like second. Bully fifth grader was laughing, pointing at my brother. Uh -huh. Crazy, right? I remember we had chicken pox. I remember sitting watching the fireplace, having chicken pox, me and my brother. Chicken pox, boy. I always had rashes, like a poison ivy, poison oak. I don't know what was wrong with me. The break, the Doberman Pinchel on the corner, I remember that. He was like a ty Tyrannosaurus Rex to me in my head. Going by him, it was like a thrill, like a rush, like adrenaline seeker. Doverman Pinch. I haven't seen a dog. Doverman's a beautiful man. That's when we started backyard hopping. Later on, the next place that I moved at age 11, backyard hopping in the woods when I was young was huge. If I go to the woods at this place, Wedge Lane, it would be small, like a few houses big. But this was like a whole planet. Remember the world was so big when you were young? I remember this is the first time I knew about people setting fire to woods. Someone was setting up, kept setting a fire to the little woods in this area. We'll get to what that means later on. Little bonus story about this time. My aunt and my uncle got married, right? And uh, you know that crochet thing that you catch to put on the, the bride? I'm like seven years old, right? So they throw the crochet and I stop. I'm like wrestling on the ground for it. I'm like grabbing all over like the people to get it. I'm, I'm on the floor and I get the croquet. Like, whew. So I went nuts to catch the croquet thing, crochet. And then I had to put it up my aunt's leg. And I remember I was so embarrassed. But that's the crazy life of the blur. That's another story. Story four. I have like a hundred, a hundred stories to tell. At age 17, my life becomes a nightmare. Stay tuned. Subscribe. Thanks for chilling with me. Peace.